Accountants can not only create net new journal entries with Cloud Extend Excel for NetSuite, they can also edit existing journal entries. So here's a fairly large journal entry sitting here in NetSuite. And I want to go in and I want to add a department for each one of these lines. So if I came in here and clicked on edit and then tried to go and do this through the native UI, I'd have to come here and actually select the proper department and do that for every single row. So you can see it's kind of a painstaking process to actually go through and do that. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel here and I'm going to flip over to Excel. Here you can see the field that I've got in my journal entry template. I just want to now paste in the internal ID from this particular journal entry, 61608. And I'll paste that in right here. I can now make changes. So if I come over here to department, I can click on view department values and I can select admin. I can also enter a partial value directly here in the cell. So for example, if I type SEL, it'll go out and it'll start doing a lookup for anything related to sales. So there's the sales department. And now I can use the power of Excel and I can just double click to drop that value all the way down. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna push this update back up to NetSuite. And then we'll flip over to NetSuite and we'll see the changes reflected in that journal entry. Click the refresh icon, we'll now see the department set here, uh, admin, and then all the rest of the departments are sales. What about creating new journal entries? Since we have this one on the screen, I'll show you a trick. A lot of times people will go into NetSuite and they'll go to make copy for a, a recurring journal entry, and then they'll have to come in and edit some amounts. So I just pulled in this existing journal entry. Now I wanna remove not only the internal ID, but I'm gonna remove the transaction ID as well. And then let's just put a new date on it. Uh, we'll set the date to, just to show you can actually use formulas here as well. We'll set the date to today's date and we'll set that all the way down to the bottom of the uh, journal entry. Uh, let's just go ahead and change a few amounts. So we'll make this 2,500. We'll make this 2,500, but I think you get the gist of it. You can change amounts, et cetera. So now we're all set, uh, ready to push this uh, new journal entry up to NetSuite. So I'm gonna go ahead here. I'm just gonna click on insert update. Okay, so great, there's the new internal ID, 62609. So let's flip over to NetSuite and punch in that internal ID. And there, you can see we've got a new one dated uh, May 17th, 2018. Here's the amounts that we changed. Let's also go over to the system information tab. And so you can see in the system notes that it shows this was set by me, that's me, Chris Corcoran, uh, under the context of web services. I also wanna highlight that if you're an advanced or what I would call a power user, you can start building uh, or even recording macros that will automate a lot of your work um, and allow you to create journal entries really, really fast based off common sets of data. So for example, this is an American Express statement and I wanna be able to take this American Express statement and I wanna be able to convert this to a journal entry and I wanna do this every single month when it comes in. So here I've got a running list of merchants that would come from American Express statements uh, along with their GL account uh, and even the internal ID for the GL account uh, if I needed that. I can go to my journal entry template and I can run a macro. So I'll come over to the developer tab, I'll go to macros and when I click on load journal entry, that's simply going out and it is copying and pasting all the debits as well as the memo fields and then over here, we're doing a lookup back to that table and grabbing in the information that we need to set the GL account. So at this point, there's really only, thing, only one thing left for me to do, and that's to sum up the values in column K, the debits, and just put in the offsetting credit, 3,030.72, and that's gonna go into the credit cards payable account. So I'll go ahead and click on update. I'll choose all rows. So let's pull up the internal ID, 62709. And here it is. Here's that new journal entry that was just created with the credit card payable account. So I could now go back in and pay that credit card if I wanted to. It'll show up in my credit cards payable account. So I hope you found this useful. You've seen how you can edit an existing journal entry. You've seen how you can create a new journal entry based off of an existing journal entry. And you've also seen how you can leverage the power of Excel with macros to really automate your workflow. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.